Air slash, get him high roll and just kill it, please. Thank you. God damn. Okay. Wow. If I'm lucky, this fight will go easier or go way better than I'm expecting, but we never know. Twelve seconds later. I'm just gonna go for the confuse ray. Pray that it hits itself. Pray that I don't take as much damage as I probably will take. And uh, just you know, just hope for the best. Hit yourself in confusion, please, or not. Oh boy. It's lower special defense. guys, welcome back to the Pokemon Renegade Platinum All-Star Lock. In the last episode, we took on Mira in the Wayward Cave, and then we took on Dawn right out here before Mount Coronet. We got slaughtered. Um, not really slaughtered, actually. Clefable uh, rolled out, really, and just completely fucked up Kelly and Mailman uh, before being taken down by Moonflip. Mailman and Kelly lost a life, and I'm really sad about it. Half our squad has lost a life now, and uh, yeah, in today's episode we are going to be making our way to Hearth Home City. Uh, everyone's level 32 except for Soda Pop, who's going to be evolving in our first battle. Um, we have zero money and we have six super potions. We're not ready for um, this battle against Eren at all, so it's going to be fun. We're going to see how this goes, but we do have to talk to Cyrus real quick, who's going to just rant about how the world sucks. Alrighty. According to one theory, Mount Coronet is where the Sinnoh region began. In a newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded, there should have been no strife. But what became of that world? Because the human spirit is weak and incomplete, strife has spread. This world is being ruined by it. I find this state of affairs to be deplorable. Alright. Thanks for that, uh, Cyrus, for... Your lovely uh, take on how the world sucks, but uh, you know, I have better things to do. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to just go around, uh, fight these trainers, get ready for this battle with Eren because it could very well screw us over, and I'm really not looking forward to it. I'll be honest with you guys. A uh, Shuckle? Don't mind if I do. Bug Bite? Get the fuck out of here. Here's Shuckle. And it has rest. Okay. All right. I see what you're playing at, my dude. Um, dead. Goodbye. Thank you for that. Soda Pop is now going to evolve. That's really all I wanted. And uh, to be honest with you, Kelly's probably the only one who can really do anything about this battle. But, um, you know, the one thing about this battle with Aaron is um, I remember most of his team. But, real quick, Soda Pop's going to evolve. Um, his team has a Scizor. A Vespaquin, a uh, what's it called? Drapion, a Venomoth. I, I don't think he has a full team of six. I don't. So I think his fifth his fifth mon's a Beautifly. I don't think he has a full team. Uh, I could be wrong about the Vespaquin, but I'm pretty sure he had a Vespaquin. But I don't. I know he didn't have a full. I'm pretty sure he didn't have a full team. And if he did, then I can't remember what his last mod was. So, anywho, uh, real quick, I want to check out Soda Pop. Soda Pop's got, whew, look at that attack. That defense is bulky. That special defense is actually pretty good. Um, it's not the highest we've got, but like, you know, poor PC God is just a fragile little boy. Uh, 38 defense and special defense. Compared to everyone else who's like, you know, anywhere from 50 or higher, so. Really, um, unfortunately enough, um, just PC God, dude. He's going to be a little bit of a fragile boy for a while. Come here, fight me. Fight me, coward. Thank you. Okay. Uh, what do you have? Just a Machoke. I can take care of that. No problems. No problems. Uh, Swords Dance real quick. Battle Throw, can you not? Let's just, let's just get ready for this. Return, dead. If he didn't die, um, Lanny would have died. So, just so we all know. Just so we're all clear on what could have happened right there. Uh, Lanny's death was what could have happened right there. So, look at that. 
I took one step and the repel instantly wore off. That's exactly what I need in my life. All right, I'm gonna head over to Orberg. Um, we're gonna heal up. I'm getting sick and I hate it. Um, I've been getting, like, feeling sick recently. Uh, my nose has just been fucking up. Um, I was originally gonna rec record uh, this video on either Friday or Saturday night, um, but Friday night I had closed, so I was tired and I got home late, and Saturday I had an eight hour shift, so I was tired, so there's really no winning. Either I, I go in like late and close, so I'm tired because like I did all the closing and everything, or I come in super early and I'm there all day, so I'm just tired. So, you know, there's really just no, there's no in between for me. It's just how my life is. This guy right here, um, I'm gonna use Soda Pop to murder him. Just relentless, just murder, slaughter fest with the Torterra. Newly evolved Torterra. Look at that. Marowak, goodbye. Get the fuck out of my face, my dude. I love Marowak as much as the next guy, but you know, he's not he's not living against he's not living against a fucking Torterra. Like, we know how it's gonna be. We know how it ends. Alright. Now, like I said, I'm very not ready for this uh battle, to be honest with you guys. Uh, Aaron can and will uh, fuck us, really. Just like, as hard as he wants. And like, it's just probably the worst thing that could happen to us, really. But I'm gonna try to get as much money as I can and have as many potions as I can for this battle. And we're just gonna really, we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, PC God, I don't know how well this is gonna go. I'm gonna be honest, it's dead. Okay, perfect. I'm really just like, I'm worried for PC God's well-being because PC God's just so fragile and he's already down to life. So I don't know what to do with him, but uh, actually real quick, like I'm going to give this soft sand to Soda Pop and then I'm going to take this miracle seed and I'm going to give it to Moonfoot and we're just going to go from there. But uh, I think when it comes to Eren, I'm thinking about it, thinking about the battle. Um. I think that Moonflip and Mailman can actually put in some work because uh, for the most part, he isn't like, he doesn't have anything that's gonna just demolish either of them. Uh, his Drapion actually could probably fuck both of them because he's Poison Dark. So uh, the Drapion's probably the only thing I'm afraid of. You know, Drapion's hit, hit like one of his Mons and I'm pretty sure Drapion's one of his Aces. Uh, or is like is his ace and it's not even a bug type so you know we have that to go for but in that uh, situation we'll have soda pop so I mean in the end we could probably go into soda pop set up and just destroy for the most part and like even with both of his attacks being re or both his stabs being resisted it's probably gonna do damage so in theory we could do that but I don't know how much use that'll that'll bring us, so I'm gonna sell some of my repulse. I'm gonna sell all but like three of them. Yeah, that'll work. Uh I'm gonna sell that odd keystone too, actually. I'll tell you guys that. I don't need that shit, dude. Let's just buy more super potions. I'm I'm going in with as many super potions as physically possible. I'm not about to lose this uh lose more lives because of this battle. There was a part of me that was contemplating um, saying this battle wouldn't count to begin with because when you fight Eren, if you lose, your team is healed and you keep going. You don't have to beat Eren. Like, fighting Eren is like 100% an optional win or lose because it's not meant for you to like 100% be able to beat it because it's not something you'd be expecting. So, I don't know, but I kind of want to count it just because like it feels like kind of a, a cheap thing to do if I don't count it. So we're just going to have to kind of go in and pray that we'll be fine. But I'm pretty sure, like I said, he doesn't have a full team of uh, six. So we have that. And I think the only thing he has that I might be a little worried about is his Scizor. Just because his Scizor could easily just fuck up PZ God. If it really wants to. So I'm not, I'm not excited for this battle. I'll be honest with you guys. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Oh god. Hello, you're a trainer, aren't you? Oh, your Pokemon look hurt. Let me heal them for you. Oh, at least he does that. Your name is Nick? 
I'm Aaron of the Elite Four. It's good to meet you. I'm a huge fan of Bug-type Pokemon. They're nasty, mean, and yet beautiful. Do you get what I mean? Some of them are really strong, too. I just can't help but gush about them to everyone. In fact, how about I show you some beautiful boys right now? I'll try and fight closer to your level. Don't worry if you lose. So, shall I show you my beautiful bu bugs in an unofficial battle? Brilliant! Here come my nasty, mean, yet beautiful partners. I could have, like, right there and then said no to that battle. But... We might as well. We're gonna see how this goes. He does have a team of five, so I think I... Oh, okay. Maybe he doesn't have a Vespaquin. Maybe it's just a Dust Tox. Unless I... What did I... What else did I guess? I don't remember. Anywho. Oh, this battle. Okay. Now, this thing could easily just Sludge Bomb me and kill me, like, immediately. But I'm probably faster than it. And if an Air Slash hits, I think I can crit or either flinch it or do enough damage for it to, like, kill. That's not killing. Flinch. Flinch. You're a bitch. You're a bitch, Test Talks. Test Talks, you a little... You little hoe. I'm gonna be honest with you. You're kind of a cunt. And it has lefties. Okay. You are set to just fuck me, aren't you, my dude? Okay. Um... I can't go into anybody. All I can do is stand with Moonflip, really. Air Slash, get him high roll and just kill it, please. Thank you. God damn. Okay. Wow. If I'm lucky, this fight will go easier or go way better than I'm expecting, but we never know. All right. I'm hurt by the poison. That's not good. A Beautifly. Okay. Um. Now that I feel like I could go into. No, I can't. Never mind. Uh, I'm dying. My camera's losing focus. I'm dying. Like, I'm getting sick. My camera's not focusing. I just, my life is over. Um, who has a higher special attack between you two? 79 and 74. So technically, you can do a lot better. And you have the scope lens, which has a chance of critting, I believe. And I can confuse Ray it. So I'm going to just go into sort of herb mailman and hope for the best. I could also probably Ominous Wind and try to get the boost, but I doubt that's going to happen. I'm just going to go for the Confuse Ray. Pray that it hits itself. Pray that I don't take as much damage as I probably will take. And uh, just, you know, just hope for the best. Hit yourself in Confusion, please. Or not. Oh, boy. Let's lower Special Defense. Hmm. That was being swallowed by one of my highest... Oh, no, you don't have the highest special defense. Never mind. Um... I can't go into Lanny. This thing has Air Cutter. There's no way. There's no way it doesn't have Air Cutter. Air Cutter will kill Lanny. I could have probably gone in in Sword Stance and seen how it went, but that's not a game I'm playing. Um... You... It has Giga Drain. There's no way. I, I, like, I go into PC God, he's fucked. It doesn't matter. I can't go into Moonflip because it has Air Cutter. Air Cutter hits everyone. It Mailman's probably the only one that doesn't have a super effective move on. It's probably a Giga Drain. I'm just sad. Um, unless I go into Kelly and put it to sleep. But a Bug Buzz is still going to hit, like, hit hard if it doesn't hit itself. I think I'm going to have to play the game of, like, trying to crit it. Or flinch it. There's no way an Air Slash is killing. It didn't kill Dust Ox. And Mailman's uh, special attack's only a little higher than Moonflip's. I'm going to try to hope and pray that it'll hit itself in confusion. That's all I can do. And I can't fully heal. So if it hits me, I'm going to be fucked. Thank God. Okay. Good lord. Air Slash, just hit, flinch it, crit it, like, whatever you have to do, my dude. Thank you. It killed. I'm actually surprised by that, to be honest with you. It's going to bring out the Drapion, isn't he? Yep, there it is. That's exactly what I was expecting. Soda Pop! I'm going to... This thing's a physical attacker. It's probably got Night Slash. It's probably got Swords Dance. Um, I'm just going to... Go in and click Earthquake right right here and now. That's my best bet. X-Scissor. That's terrifying. That's going to kill me. 
I swallowed that. Never mind. I did 40. I didn't even do half. You're pathetic, Drapion. I shouldn't say that because it's gonna kill me. Um, earthquake, please. Kill. Oh, okay. Oh boy. Alright. Um, let's just heal just in case. There's the full restore. Okay. Um, earthquake again. Cross poison. Even better. I can actually live that one way better. Earthquake. High roll, please. Thank you. Or crit. That works too. That was with the soft sand too, so that's actually really good. Okay, that's three mons down. He's got two left. I'm pretty sure it's a Venomoth and a, his Scizor. I think that's his final team. Venomoth, there it is. Um, Venomoth is Bug Poison. I don't think it gets Levitate. So I could Saiyan and Earthquake it. Um, and that's really my only hope, actually. Because it's probably got... Something to hit, like, everyone else. Or I can go into Mailman and Air Slash it and see how that goes. Because I think if that thing clicks Silver Wind on me, I'm fucked. Who's got a higher uh, special defense? 70 compared to your 60. I could actually probably stay in. No, I couldn't. No, I couldn't. You're poisoned, and it's got Sludge Bomb. Not going into you. Mailman. I feel like a Silver Wind might kill you. <sighs> okay, now, the thing is... Air Slash will be super effective. Venomoth, I don't know what its special defense looks like, but I feel like it's bulky. I feel like Venomoth's a bulky mon. I could be wrong. I'm gonna go into Mailman. We're gonna see how this goes. This battle's gonna fuck me up, boys. I'm gonna tell you that. Okay, level 31. Um, let's just air slash it. Sleep Powder. You are a fucking bitch. I have two mods that are poison. Oh, such bomb. I woke up in- I have early bird. <laughs> That's beautiful. I forgot I had early bird. I'll be honest with you guys. That was amazing. Okay. His last mod's Scizor. There it is. Um, PC God, if I go into you, can you either A, swallow whatever it throws at you, B, outspeed in one shot, or C, just, you know, outspeed and two hit. Like, two shot works too. Look at that squad. I don't think I'm outspeeding it. I did outspeed it, never mind. I'm adamant nature, dude. Like, in with the muscle band, and it's quad effective. You're dead. Bye. Good lord. That battle. Wow, that battle went a lot better than I was expecting, I'll be honest with you guys. Player defeated Elite Four Aaron. Oh, I was defeated? Perhaps I misjudged you. Uh, yeah, you did. I was shitting myself the entire battle, but okay. Wow, your Pokemon are trained seriously well. I expect I'll see you at the Pokemon League for an official battle. So, have I shown you the great of bug type Pokemon? Either way, I've got a TM for you for listening to my spiel. It's a purely offensive bug type move, x -Scissor. That's actually really good. Alright, it, it was great meeting you. See you another time. Okay, bye. Oh, my team is dying. Everyone's poisoned. Let's just, let's just antidote. Moonflip, you don't deserve to be tortured the way you have been. Okay. Oh look, a Hapini. Oh, thank goodness that you happened to be there. If it weren't for you, who knows how far away my Hapini could have run. Baby Hapini, back into the Pokeball you go. I'm Kira. I'm a contest Pokemon contest judge. Be sure to drop by the contest hall so I can thank you properly. Alright, I appreciate that. Um, please... I don't have a battle with Barry here. I know that. Uh, I, if I go the other way, I do. But... Ha, huh, okay. Now... I'm still, I'm still dying from a cold. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm, like, suffering right now. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm, like, broken. My body's just eating away at itself. Um, we're gonna real quick go talk to our mama, who is here in the contest hall, if you guys didn't know that, with Kira. Oh, my hero. Oh, hi, Nick. Wait, wait, really? Jo Johanna is your mom? So you might be a contest star. Oh, I don't know about that. I've never heard Nick have an interest for contest. I'm surprised you two know each other, though. Oh, yes, that's right. I need to thank you for earlier. Here's a simply dazzling stone. Oh, shiny stone. 
That involves certain Pokemon that I don't know. A Rose Raid. Roselia and a Rose Raid, that's all I know. Evolves from a shiny stone. I'm dumb, I don't know. Take this accessory too. Ooh, glitter powder. I love glitter. That's my favorite thing. It goes everywhere and doesn't leave you alone. Put that accessory in your Pokemon before a contest. It'll lend a nice touch of sophistication and glamour. I'm a contest judge, so come join us for a different kind of fun. If you're unsure for yourself, we also offer practice sessions. Okay, Johanna, I'll see you soon. I'm pretty sure Johanna is how they say it in the anime, so that's how I'm gonna say it. I could be wrong. Who knows? I probably sound like an idiot. Were you surprised to see me, Nick? I got bored, so I came out to so I came out to Hearthome for a little vacation. I'm just as surprised to see you here, my dear. But are you serious about entering contests? Not just that way. When your Pokemon is all dressed up, you can't be dressed by your usual way. Put this on for a little glamour. I think my mom just called my clothes ugly, but okay. I'm sure that it'll, it'll look good on you. After all, I chose it. Go enjoy those contests, honey. Contests will give you a different look at the mini charms of Pokemon. It should be an eye-opening experience for you. Bye now. Okay, bye, Mom. See you later. I'm gonna go talk to Fantina. I'm not gonna do any of your uh, stuff because I don't want to offend any French people. I'm not feeling it. I'll do it in the next episode. I'll do it when we take her on in the gym, which is actually going to probably be next episode. But uh, with that, I think it's a good place to end the episode, to be honest with you guys. 20 minutes. We made it just barely. Um, that Aaron fight was not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but I was still scared shitless, um, which is probably a good thing that we managed to get past it. But next battle is Fantina. Um, Fantina, I don't think we have to actually grind, um, her ace is level 33, I believe, so we're technically ready for it, but again, um, let's just take a look at our team real quick. Uh, Mailman is not going to be used at all. Lanny is not going to be used at all. Lanny, you're not supposed to be there. Um, so we're basically going in with four mons, uh, which very well isn't that bad of a thing. Soda Pop could probably curse and sweep again. Uh, even the Gengar, which will swallow uh, seed bombs unless I curse up, will go down. So, in reality, this could be a very easy battle. Um, I could, you know, just sweep at Soda Pop or with Kelly. Maybe Kelly could bite away at everyone's life and yawn, but I don't think we need to be overleveled for this battle. I could be very wrong. Um, we're going to see how it goes, but... Yeah, I guess with that, we're going to end the episode for you guys. In the next episode, we will be taking on Fantina. So, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to do smash like one to Fontaine Work, subscribe and pause at PC Party, share your friends, follow Twitter, PC with my master, join the Discord links down below. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'm PC Bowmaster, and I'll see you guys next time.